Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel, if you're on things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. I just want to have a quick rant about chemtrails. People tell me that chemtrails don't exist. They argue until they're blue in the face. Because they're told by scientists that there can't be no such thing. What we're looking at is contrails. Well, that sky looks very, very blotted out to me. Contrails disappear. Chemtrails stay exactly where they are. What are they trying to hide behind our moon? You might actually be forgiven looking at this thinking this was our sun rising. No, this is our moon. What I've got to say about chemtrails very, very quickly is if my car smoked that much, when it drove down the road like a chemtrail plane in the sky, they would come along, take it off me, find me and crush the car. But in the sky... It makes no difference, all these chemicals we're breathing in and really nobody can say anything because they don't exist. Looking at this picture that's just popped up on the screen, we've got an X and a Y. 9th of June 2018 I looked in the sky and I took this picture at 9.41. Well what are the chances of me looking at a bit of footage and seeing a Z? So now we've got X, Y, Z. Or is that possibly an N? N for Nige? Well, maybe. What are the chances of that actually popping up as a chemtrail? Just very, very strange. All the footage that you're going to see comes from a security camera. One of the security cameras at work. I haven't used any filters, photoshopping or anything else. What you're seeing is exactly what I saw, what actually came off the camera. Now, I need to show you something what I find quite interesting, the date is the 23rd of September 2018, which is a Sunday. The time is 21.12 and 40 seconds. It's night time. The bit of footage we're just about to look at is from a security camera at my work. We can see that we're looking at our sky. It's dark. There's a star. Let me push play as the clouds go past and we can see that we got our moon just here a little bit red at the top what is this object this isn't the sun because it's night time but to understand what we're looking at i've got to show you a clip from earlier on that day let's have a look so to make any sense of what we just looked at and find out exactly what's going on we need to time travel we need to go back in time two and a quarter hours the time now is 1900 hours that is 7 p.m. in old school money. We get to see our moon starting to rise and we get this great shot of this plane just going past our moon. Another thing you can notice is how fast our moon is traveling through the sky as it's zoomed in. I think that's a great shot. And as I said, the time is 7 o'clock and we can see that I've sped the footage up because any changes that take place, we can see instantaneously. Normally when it's going through the sky, everything would be slowed down. I'm going to zoom it in just here because I've got something to show you. I've got something that doesn't make any sense. Like I said, there's a few abnormalities and uh, hey. The first thing I've noticed at the top of the moon is white it looks like it's been badly colored in and also if you look around the outside we've got this black line that runs all the way round well not all the way round just half the way round there is another thing that is annoying me although our moon is very very well it's a dark reddy orange here the camera doesn't do it justice yet again it brightens the picture up as you will know if you've taken pictures of the, the moon, the sun and whatever else. But our scientists tell us that if everything fits together and you can see the picture here, sun, earth, atmosphere, moon, and it has to be a full moon, we get a blood red moon. So when it clears our atmosphere, but hasn't earth got atmosphere all over it? Well, at any rate, it makes no difference. What would you expect to see happen? Now, it should change colour from top to bottom. Or maybe because it's going in an arc across this direction, maybe. But from top to bottom, I would say.
And just one last thing, I can see Fred Flintstone here. Here's the hair, here's the nose, here's the mouth, here's the eye, and he's got something coming out of his mouth. Or maybe it's somebody wearing a pair of sunglasses. There's the sunglasses, there's the eye, there's the nose, there's the mouth, and yet again something coming out. Paradilia, what a wonderful thing. How you can make pictures out of nothing. And watch how our moon traverses through the sky. We can see changes taking place. Our moon is starting to change a yellowy colour. Notice the background also, it starts to flash, whether that's a camera abnormality or it looks like something, yeah, make your own mind up. How yellow our moon has become. The camera makes it brighter so it uh, exaggerates the colour. It was a very, very yellow colour, I may add. Now if we stop it just here, we can have a look at our moon. Black line all the way round. Well, near enough, three quarters of the way round. And we've got this red down here. Now, did you notice, it didn't transform from top to bottom. It transformed from right to left. That, for me, makes no sense at all. And what a strange looking cloud as it goes across our moon. We can see that uh, our moon's becoming white. Like I said, it's going from right to left. Now if we stop it just here, we've got this line that runs all the way around our moon. And our moon has become totally different. It's lit up just like a great big LED light in the sky. Maybe it's being lit up by the sun simulator, I'm just saying. But take notice how red it is around the outside. If you're not sure where I'm going with this, let me show you this clip and let's put it all together. We're going to look at the first clip, but we're going to start a minute earlier. 21, 11 and 52 seconds. We can see our moon is there. It's behind the clouds. We can see our star. And we can look at this object here. As our clouds come past the moon, yeah, that is our moon. So what is this object down here? Things aren't always what they appear to be. This is what we've got to understand. This is very, very important. We can see the clouds going past. And then, well, that really does give it away. It suddenly appears. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a lens flare. What is a lens flare? Well, most of you do know what a lens flare is. It's a projected image of a light source. And that is exactly what we're looking at projected image of a light source. The focal points actually all come together and hey presto, here's our moon. There's the red. And don't confuse what we're looking at with a projected image. Although a lens flare in its own right is a projected image, a projected image is something totally different and we'll get into that in one second. But you can clearly see that this is our moon. A projected image of our moon and this is extremely important this just proves many things that I've been talking about on my channel for quite some time but there's also something else for those people that may have been paying attention we get another lens flare there is two lens flares, one, two, and the real object, one, two. That just proves to me that there's a lens system running. To get multiple lens flares means there's more than one lens. This actually acts as a lens flare. As the camera moves, you will see the lens flare move in the opposite direction. 
whereas a projected image actually moves with the sun. And you can see just there the plane going past. This clip is very, very important because it proves many different things, but also what we've got to take notice of before we actually move on, we've got to look at our skies and look how red it is. Look how red the top of the moon is. Is it actually red and they're projecting some sort of light onto it? There is technology in front of our moon because I made a video, I took a thermal camera outside, I pointed it at the moon 240,000 miles away and I measured a temperature of 40 degrees. I find that impossible. It's a Seek Thermal Reveal Pro camera. It's not the best on the market, but it's not the worst. 240,000 miles away, I got a temperature and we could watch it spin. Here's the slow down footage. And at one point, I'm sure that I get to see Pac-Man. Are we looking at our moon? I don't believe we're looking at our moon. I believe that we're looking at a lens in front of the moon that's spinning. And you can see the dot. Am I just looking at Pac-Man? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we've got a better understanding of a lens flare, let's have a look at a projected image. Totally different, but the same. We're looking at Poncha Pass, Southwest, 27th of December 2017. And as you can see, this object suddenly manifests itself just like the one on the last clip from the lens flare two go hand in hand if we look over here we can see this graying and this is part of the lensing system being projected back onto the lens of the camera there's a multitude of lenses but somebody didn't do their mathematics and yeah it made it into a great big telescope into space for us we can see it spinning the focal point has been set we don't need to actually tune it in and don't forget it moves from left to right and it actually moves with the sun unlike this object here which happens to be a lens flare and if we got the focal point of that we would be able to see exactly what we're looking at there is the lens in front of our sun and sun simulator and the black dot just happens to be our sun simulator just here we can see that now the red spinning planet has become a lens flare don't you find that quite interesting technology in our skies 25th june 2018 alamosa east we're looking at a sunrise the sky is flashing we get this graying around the outside and we get to see this object emerging getting lit up manifesting it's backwards lit this is what you've got to understand this just proves that it's running through a lens system but yet it's being projected back onto the lens of the camera and hey presto we get to see what's there in space we've got these lens flares over here and they're two red ones quite interesting and there you go if you just look here you can see the red spinning planet being projected as it goes through the sky. Now we've cleared up the difference between a lens flare and a projected image. I hope this helps. What this also does for me is proves that the lens flare and a projected image is one of the same. If we can get a lens flare and actually see the object in the lens flare, this just proves that the objects that we're looking at that are projected are real. They're there. I'm just saying the two go hand in hand, but they're different but they're the same. Let me show you something that I think you'll find quite interesting. Let me show you a picture. At first glance, it looks like our sun. Could you tell the difference between a sun, a moon, and an electrical light? Let me show you something that I've come across. And hey presto, here's an electrical light. It's got a lens on it. I would expect to see this. I've said about these lenses before, having a double ridge. What have we got here? And, yep, it looks identical. Electrical light, electrical light, oh, sorry, no, the moon. Although it does look like the sun, if you look at every single line, they all match up. Every single one of them. Anyway, 
I'd like to thank all those people who have sent me pictures. I haven't forgotten you. I've just been extremely busy. I will be making a video with all your pictures and videos that you've sent me. It's really appreciated. Anyway, much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.